The title of our project is Phishing Attack Analysis Using Scapy. Uh, this project is being done by my team member, Jishnu Saurav Mithapali and me, myself, Swamya Oja. So the first part uh, which we'll be discussing in this video will be how to detect the IP address and the port number of the PKF file which we have downloaded from Google. So we will be detecting the IP address from which the PKF file or the attack has been done and the port number as well. So the first, the four major steps to detect the IP address and the port number of the attack will be, first, we need to import data from the PCAP file. Second, we need to convert it into data frame. Third, we need to find out the IP address from data frame using SCAPI tool. And the fourth and the final step will be to find out port number from data frame using SCAPI. So now we will be seeing the execution of these four steps of how to do the analysis of how to find out the IP address and the port number of the attack. So we can see that in the first cell, we are importing the basic libraries which are needed to do this uh, detection of the IP address and the port number. So these are all the basic uh, header files which we need to include. Then in the next cell, we are giving the number of packets which we need, which we want to sniff from the PK file which we have downloaded. Like if we want to analyze the we we need we want to analyze hundred packets from the PK file which we have downloaded. So we are giving here number of packets to sniff is equal to hundred, and then we are passing it to this. Uh, this parameter and then we are just printing the type of this pkf file the length of this pkf file and the pkf file as it as itself and then we can uh, then we can just execute it uh, it's getting executed here till then we will be seeing the next step like after we have done all these steps of get of putting the number of packets to sniff the next we need to uh, put read this pk file we are reading the pk file here and then we are putting it into a variable pk which we will be using further in this uh, document so after that uh, what we are doing is uh, after uh, then we are reading this and then we are printing the variable so it is giving us this output of this pk file then next we are uh, reading the top uh, 101 101 lines from the pk file and we are storing it in a variable called ethernet frame and then from the ethernet frame we are taking the payload and storing it in a variable called ip packet and similarly we are storing the rest in the segment and we are printing the summary of this ethernet frame ip packet on uh, this segment and this uh, data we are printing the summary of this which tells us all the version number if it is an ipl like we can see here we have just run it already so we can see that this is the output which we are getting from the ethernet frame summary the destination and the source and the type which is ipv4 and from ip we can get the summary such as version tos length and all all this and from tcp as well uh, so these was this was the summary part and then what we are doing is we are uh, getting the all the ip fields of all the ip fields which we have detected from the pcap file into this ip fields variable and the tcp fields uh, we are all the tcp fields in the pcap file we are getting in this variable then udp fields as well and then the second step which we, which was given uh, like uh, we need to create the data frame so the data frame is being created here we are using this ip fields plus tcp fields to create this data frame so the data frame is getting created here and then we are using this uh, data frame fields is being created here and then we are creating the actual data frame here by using the class of this pandas library so this is the data frame which is being created and then we are uh, analyzing each packet in this pkf file and then we are putting these field values and appending it all uh, in order actually all these steps are basically creating the data frame part only so all these steps are contributing to that and finally we get our data frame which has been created at the last of this at the end of this step 
so till now we have done two things we have imported the data from the pkf file using all those ip fields and all we have got the data and the second thing is we have created the data frame as well for at the end of the step and then we are printing the data frame the shape of the data frame which we have created and the and its header like the header file of the header of the data frame the tail part of it and the source of the data frame then is source destination the source port and the destination port of the data frame we are calculating and we can see the output here being displayed all at no the output is here as well so we can see the output being displayed here the source we can get the destination the source port and the destination port which was the output for this last line and the rest of the part is in the front part so this part is done of the data frame thing then next is uh, we are what we are doing is we are uh, calculate we are uh, calculating the top source addresses like the source addresses which have been used most number of times destination addresses which have been used um, top source address means the source address which have been used most recently destination address also means the destination address which have been used most recently and uh, frequent address means the like from the source also we have got the recent source address and then we are saying that which source address have been used most number of times then we are also printing the top the recent addresses which are there then we are uh, like uh, seeing they are speaking to whom and these top addresses are speaking to which destination ports and these top addresses are speaking to which source ports all this is getting displayed here in this part and uh, and then what we are doing is from the source address we are taking the unique source address because there are many source address which have been repeated so we are finding out the unique source address from there and as well as the destination addresses as well and all this part is contributing to this thing only and in this last addresses say sending payloads uh, so here what we are doing is we have plotted a graph of all the ip addresses with regards to data sent by them so we can see in this graph that this IP address has sent the maximum weightage of data, like the data sent by it has been the maximum, and this is being displayed here in this graph. So addresses uh, sending payloads. So the maximum payload has been sent from this IP address. And then here we are uh, we and here we are displaying the same thing with regards to port like which port has sent the maximum number of bytes we are displaying it here and this port has we can see in this graph that this port is sending the maximum number of bytes uh, this is for this was for destination port as well and then in order to find out the ip address of the suspected pk file what we are doing is we have uh, like calculated in this graph what we what we can see is which ip address is more frequently speaking like which which ip address has the most number of frequent communication so we can know that this ip address which has the most number of frequent communication has sent maximum number of packets so it can tell us that this ip address is doing the attack so, so then only it has been sending so many packets to cause the attack so since it has the most frequent number of communication so we can suspect that this is the ip address from which the attack has been done so we have covered all the four steps as it was discovered in the document this was the ip address detection part and we have discovered as well the destination port as well which was sending the maximum number of data as well so with this we get to the end of this video of detection of ip address and destination port thank you